Good morning, everybody, and welcome to the vlog. I just fed Aries. Now it's time for I. Come on, girl. Whoa! Woo! Tell you what, this girl hits hard. And I hope your day is absolutely amazing. Obviously, we're going to be feeding some snakes, but we also are really getting things going. Today, destruction of the coming up sloth room. So you got to destroy it in order to build it back up. We are getting down to the wire, guys. We are 21 days away from leaving for our cross-country trip, which means we have a lot to do. I'm talking a lot to do, so let's feed some snakes, and I'll take you along on the journey of what the next 21 days is going to look like for me. Wakey wakey, eggs and bakey. Come on, girl. Whoa, nope, you missed, baby girl. Here we go. There it is. Whoo, I tell you what, what a gorgeous snake. And basically, let's go through a mental checklist. You guys know we're working on the basement. We not only need to get the colubrid room completely done because we're going to be brewmating downstairs in the basement, which means that that has to be completely done. Air coming in to cool it down, animals in the whole shot before we leave. We hope that we can get the kind of sitting area, VIP area done, just so that's off my plate. I'll be honest with you, the new Caledonia room is going to be finished, but not in the way of caging. That's going to have to happen when I get back from this trip. Of course, the sloth, we not only have to build out the room, but we have to actually head to Florida to go get that sloth. Okay, here we go. There you go. Now I tell you, that ball training is coming really well. And again, with that 21 days before we're supposed to be leaving on this cross country trip, which is kind of already planned out, so I think we're definitely gonna to have to do this. You gotta keep in mind that we've gotta go get Drogo the sloth. Now the owner is, I mean, she loves this sloth. And one of the things that she was very emphatical about was the fact that we would drive him back, not fly him. And to be honest with you, I feel more comfortable with that too. It's gonna to be weird driving cross country with a sloth in the back, but at the same time, then we can keep an eye on him, make sure he's not stressed out, get him back over here, all that stuff. So that means that's an 18 hour drive one way and then back. So pretty much four days of that 21 days is gonna be spent traveling to go get Drogo, putting us down to 17 days including this one, by the way. So really 16 days as of tomorrow. Finally, I'm gonna to start to actually work on this. So the first thing I'm gonna do is get all these cages out. So I have to rip out the, all this facade here, get these cages out, we'll store these cages, rip down this, and then this room will be completely free. We'll just get this tree, we'll put this in the party room, and then this is all out. And then tomorrow, I'll come and actually start to seal the walls off, because here in the next few days, the tree comes, the wall comes, the ceiling comes. So uh, we've got a lot of work to do, but the first thing is get this rack out, which is a bummer because I love this rack. It stinks that it's not gonna be here, but Hey, what can you do? We gotta get ready for a sloth. You ready to eat, buddy? Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Whoa, there you are, buddy. Tell it, what an awesome snake. This thing is just absolutely gorgeous. And basically, just to give you the timeline, what we're waiting on with the sloth room as we're getting done kind of wrapping up the cleanup phase is that we need the tree, we need the rocks, and we need the ceiling to be done, right? So Stuart down at Universal Rock already has the tree done and the walls done. They're getting shipped right now as we speak. So they'll be here in about four days or so. We're about eight or nine days away from getting the ceiling. The ceiling has to go in, because that's where the lights are gonna go in, the humidifier is gonna go in, and plus we don't want Drogo to be able to get through the drop ceiling, so that's imperative. Not sure if I wanna install the wall and the trees before the ceiling or not. I really want to put the ceiling in, then the walls, but I might have to do it reverse if I run out of time. 
So in the next week and a half or so, while I'm kind of waiting for all the materials, I'm gonna probably put all my energy into the basement so that I can get that colubrid room done, number one, because that's the most important thing. Then the VIP kind of green room, sitting room area, and then lastly in the new Caledonia room. So I've got my work cut out for me there, and then hopefully I'll somehow get a couple hours to do Matilda. I'm not 100% sure about that, but nevertheless, the timing is definitely gonna get pretty sketchy here. Uh, I, I'm definitely feeling the pressure. Sun fire, here you go, bud. Here you go. There you go. Whew. Tell you what, what an amazing animal. Just to be able to like sit up in a tree like this is absolutely incredible. And I know as a guy that suffers with anxiety, you might be asking yourself like, Brian, why are you doing this? Seems like a lot of pressure, a lot of stress. But the truth is, is that all these things have been on my mind for so long. And here in the next two and a half, three weeks, all these things are gonna be kind of coming to completion, right? And that kind of gets things out of my mind. It checks off things. It gets those little zip files that are just clogging my mind and it frees them up, right? So yes, it's stressful and it's probably not the best thing for me at the moment because the anxiety might be a little bit higher than what I want it to be. But I've been doing really well with that, working really hard on it. Most days I feel so much better. But the truth is, is every time I can tick something off, that's gonna free my mind up and it's gonna make less anxiety for me. So I'm not gonna sit back and let things just sit in the back of my mind, circling around, circling around, bugging me. I wanna get these things done. And if I can get these things done before we leave on this trip, it's just gonna make the trip even that much more fulfilling. Here you go, Jeffrey. Here you go, bud. Oh! Yeah, he got that one good. So remember that clutch of pastel leopard clown that was bred to a banana clown that hatched about a week ago? We cut the eggs. Uh, I tell you what, they just shed out today. I, I just have to take a break from everything and go show you how stunning these animals are. Have to update you guys on that clown ball python clutch that we hatched about a week ago. They shed out and look amazing again. This was a pastel leopard clown bred to a banana clown. And this is just a little leopard clown ball python here, but it's just absolutely wonderful. I mean, that leopard and the clown mixed together were reduces that pattern. You have that big wide stripe down and then kind of those cool dotting down the sides. Absolutely an amazing animal. There's no doubt about it. Then we actually hit the all gene animal, which was the pastel banana leopard clown ball python right here. Again, super soft, super subtle, just beautiful snake. I mean, that thing is glowing. I tell you, look at the head pattern on it, the blushing. That is an incredible, incredible snake. Absolutely wonderful. And again, because the banana is typically sex length, this is a boy as well as the other banana that I'm about to show you is a boy. And then all the rest of the clutch was female. So that's cool as heck that we can race them this up. And then this one was the one that I honestly was probably the most excited excited about. This is just a normal banana leopard clown. So without the pastel and look at the colors on that thing, just the orange is coming through in that purple stripe and that head pattern, the head color. Gosh, that animal is incredible. So we'll hang on to the two boys for sure to raise up for future breeders. But wow, this thing is one of the coolest snakes that I produced this year. Absolutely stunning. And it's only gonna get better with age because this guy's gonna get beautiful when he's five, 600 grams. Look out, you're gonna need some sunglasses, people. So I have to update you on this clutch because it's absolutely incredible. sad. I really love the idea of the snake massage room and we were only able to do it for a very short while before we had to shut it down and it's sad to be at this point and see it go away but we got all the facade out we got the cages out now we just have to rip down the two by fours and uh, and this place is cleaned up and I can start actually sealing it up and getting ready for Drogo. Girl, come on, come on, come on. There you go, sweetheart, there it is, there. I tell you what, 
she just shed out she looks great and she was definitely ready to go and and you know when it comes to this trip you know I wanted to explain why I'm doing it two reasons really number one is the fact that you know you guys know I travel a lot or I used to travel a lot. I haven't traveled at all since March I think it's time to get away you guys have kind of been putting up with me here at the shop uh, for all these months without having any kind of change of scenery and I appreciate your support for it you guys have been absolutely amazing and I just thought it might be time to get away the other thing is as I'm getting better with anxiety I think it's time to push the envelope right if you start to retract into a spot where you feel comfortable you're not growing as a person so it is kind of an anxious thing to go on a cross-country trip you know four or five thousand miles away from home for 13 days never done it before this way uh, in a mobile home with a few guys I mean it is an anxiety kind of ridden thing but yet I know that if I could do it it's a win it's a test and as every day that goes by I'm gonna feel more strong and more strong and more kind of able to get past it so that's why I'm doing it partly so you guys have a change of pace and I hope that you guys will enjoy it because we're gonna see some amazing animals along the way and have some amazing adventures but also to push me personally to get to the point where I'm even better, right? I always wanna push the envelope and I wanna encourage you guys, if you're dealing with these issues, don't retract in, don't avoid, try to go forward because that's the best way to get better. And that is it, it's official. The room is uh, well underway. Well, it's not really well underway, but it's uh, it's cleared out. So again, what'll happen is this'll all be rock wall all the way around here with some ledges and stuff like that. There's gonna be a tree right in the center of this and then there'll be a bunch of vines or hammocks, a bunch of cool things for it to climb on so uh, it's gonna be good the next step is to take kind of a weather sheeting and just go all the way around the wall just up to here that way if we want we can spray everything down after we actually rock it and it can go right into this drain right on the floor over here you know because listen sloths pee a lot they don't poop very much but they do pee a lot so we're gonna have to do that and uh, so again blank slate it's gonna look really cool here in the next week week and a half So needless to say guys, the next three weeks is gonna be crazy. So buckle up, cause it's gonna be wild and send me as much positive energy as you can, but it's gonna be exciting and I hope that you guys are gonna enjoy it. Speak of it, enjoyment, if you want right here, if you enjoyed this feeding video, you can do an entire playlist of feeding right over here. Up on this side, you can subscribe to my podcast channel. I sure do appreciate that. I hope that you're subscribed to this vlog channel right over here. Turn your post notifications on. Have an absolutely wonderful day. Remember, be kind to someone and I promise I'll see you tomorrow.